time to talk about remotes. All right, so you got a lot of equipment and you got a lot of remotes and you're like, there's gotta be an easier way to condense all these remotes into one easy, good remote control. So I'm gonna talk about what I use, Logitech 650 Harmony Remote. Let's set it up and I'm gonna show you what, how to do that. Let's do it. Okay, so I know, I'm sure you're aware of Harmony Logitech remotes, right? They've had a lot of success they're like the de facto remote when you're talking about ease of use, functionality, setting it up and, and customizing it to do what you want it to do, right? So I've had uh, a few in the past. The Harmony One was my ultimate favorite. I had that for about a year and a half before it just quit working. And the, the problem is, you know, past a year, the manufacturer's warranty is gone. So if it gives you issues, you gotta replace it. So I didn't want to really spend that much money. So I love the functionality of the Harmony, but I just dropped it down to the base model, right? I just wanted to be able to control my system with one press of a button and control everything. So they have the 650 model here, which gives you about eight different devices, which is pretty good for me. Um, that works for my situation. If you have more than eight, you probably want to step up to the the newer, the, the higher end models. It gives you a Gives you like 15 plus devices if you want to have a whole bunch of devices set up to it go that route but for me eight was enough so what i'm going to do is just kind of show you the website you want to go to when you purchase this remote by the way it says it's 69 dollars on logitech website but if you go to best buy's website right now it's at a low low price of 39 bucks i jump on that if you guys want to get the a logitech remote that's an awesome price definitely step up to that one that's my best buy. What's also cool is they can give you that uh, extended service plan if you want to keep it past two years. So definitely check it out. All right, back to the website. So I'm going to show you uh, what I did to set this up and, and kind of give you a rundown of uh, what, what you got to do to get your own Harmony Logitech remote set up and the easiest way to do it. And uh, I think you'd like it. I think I recommend it. It works for me. I have two of these, one for the Mitsubishi area and one for the theater area. It does everything I need. It's awesome. All right, let's get to it. All right, so first thing I want to do is show you the equipment that I'm going to program with the Harmony. So, of course, the TV. Um, now, for your equipment at home, you want to write down all the model numbers of what you have at home. That's very important. So right now, the Mitsubishi is the WD82838. And then we're going to have the Pioneer Elite Receiver, which is the 1120. And then we got uh, a few other few other things. We got the Xbox 360 uh, and then the uh, Xbox One S there. And then I also have an HDMI uh, splitter, which has a remote as well for. So when we go back to look at these remotes... You, know, you, got the, you got the Mitsubishi TV here, the Pioneer here. I used to have Dish Network, but for, for you all that have Dish, you definitely program it uh, on, the, on the Harmony. If you have a, uh, this is a Lutron uh, IR light switch dimmer. If you have one of these on your wall, you can also program this into Logitech, which is awesome. And then I also have a, a butt kicker amp, which has a volume control. You can program this into the Logitech. And if you have an HDMI switch, you can program uh, the different uh, inputs on the Logitech remote also. What's really great about this remote, guys, is over 6,000 brands you can control. So as long as you get the model numbers of your equipment, you program into this guy and it's all you need. All right, so now I want to plug it in and I'll walk you through it. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so what you want to do, so you go to the Logitech, or you go to setup.myharmony.com. This brings you to the website where you can download the software to your Windows computer uh, or or your your, your Mac or, or Apple whatnot. Um, so that'll get you the software on your desktop. Um, that's what I'd recommend doing. So once you download the software that you need to, to configure your Harmony, basically you're gonna get this software. 
It's a Logitech MyHarmony software that you download and open up, and you want to make an account. Let's raise this up a little bit. Sorry about that, folks. All right, there we go. So up here, you want to make your account. That way you know how to log in to your uh, remote control when you want to go back and change something or relearn something. You do it right here. So I have two of them. Like I said before, the, the number one, that's going to be for the main theater room. And then this one's going to be for the Mitsubishi that I just showed you. So I'm going to click on that. Right Before I do, it says I have six devices and I have three activities. So I'll show you what activities are all about. So let's click on that. It's going to log in. All right. So here we are. So I'm going to go to devices. And I'm going to show you what I have already uploaded here. So remember, I have the Mitsubishi DLP. We got the Pioneer receiver. We're going to have that, that switch, that HDMI switcher. Then you have the Xbox One S console. And then this stuff here, you don't have to worry about. That's, that's if you want to add more devices. So this is stick with the main four here. So what you do is you add, the, add a device by pressing the plus. And that's when you add your manufacturer name. And then you add the device number. And once you add that, you go to add, and then it'll confirm that that's the one you want to, to, to install. So that's how you add a device of your own um, equipment. Okay? So once you add that, you'll see it up here in this, this grid right up here. So once you add all your devices, now you want to control them. The activities, which is really cool, the activities is the one, the one button you press to control all the devices. So for instance, you want to play a game or watch a movie, you would just say add activity and you would say you want to watch TV, you want to watch a movie, do you want to play a game, you want to listen to music, or do you want to customize what the activity is. So you decide what, what kind of activity you want to make. So once you do that, you go through the steps and then you tell it, I want to turn on my TV, I want to turn on my receiver, and I want to turn on my Blu-ray player all at the same time that is an activity and then you go from there watching a movie very simple okay so let's cancel there so those are activities and then the buttons here this is where you can customize the entire remote you can change any button you want to do you can you can make different names on the screen you can do all that stuff so for instance the screen options remember the activities we made we'll just say you know, antenna TV. I don't watch antenna TV. So you go to that. You can add buttons on the actual screen of the remote. Whatever you want to do. Say like Mitsubishi DLP. I want to have like, uh, you know, the guide. So you just drag the guide over here. And there's your, your Harmony screen. And there's the guide button. So that's if you want to add any buttons to the screen itself. So we'll delete that. Uh, also, when you're in the um, the button screen, you can learn the original remote of your device onto the Logitech. So, for instance, if you uh, if you enter the the model number, and they don't have all the buttons that that's on the original remote, you can add that button to the Logitech anywhere on this remote as well. Very, very cool. So favorites is if you want to set a favorite channel, you can set that on the screen. So when you press that button that's favorites, it'll go right to that channel. So guys, once you add your devices and you make an activity, these, uh, these top buttons here are your activities. You can do listen to music, watch a movie, watch TV, or, or more here. So that's where you put the the, uh, the activity buttons. Once you're all done, you would just sync. And once you sync, it sends all that information from the USB cable that's plugged into your computer right to the remote control. And then you can go test it out. And if it doesn't work the way you want, you just go back, open up the software, plug it in, and then just change some stuff, sync it again, then go back and try it. That's it. It's very easy. So I'm going to sign out of here. Yeah, we don't want to save anything. So you sign out.
and then you can log in whenever you want with the uh, the information, your credentials. All right, so now we can unplug. Now I'll just show you here. All right, remember the USB cable that's plugged into the computer? Unclick that. I don't know if you can see this here. Nope, you can't. I'm taking the camera off here. Let's get some light. Okay. So remember up the top, listen to music, watch TV, watch a movie. These are my activities. If I press play Xbox One X or S, it's going to turn on all my devices. I'll just show that to you. All right, so I sit down here, play Xbox One S. See that? So since I told, focus, since I told the, the computer on the website that I wanted to watch, uh, play Xbox One S, it turns on the TV, turns on the receiver, and turns on the Xbox One S all at the same time. This is the perfect example of what can happen. So I was watching antenna before. So right now it defaulted back to the, the antenna. So what I want to do is I want to press the help button. Hold on, focus. Help. Attempting to fix the problem. So what it's doing is it's going to go back to the original input that it's supposed to be on. And it'll ask you, did that fix the problem? You say yes or no. If it didn't, it'll ask you some questions on how to fix it. But since it fixed it, I'm going to say yes. And there it is. It fixed itself. That's really cool. I apologize for that, that uh, vertical thing here. All right, so now everything's fixed. And as you can see, I can control the Xbox One S with the Logitech remote because you said you had an Xbox One S on the device. So, guys, that's it. That is how you program and condense all your devices into one remote. Highly recommend it, guys. The Logitech Harmony 650. Check it out, guys. It's worth it. It's only 39 bucks right now. Super good deal. And this will get you started in the world of universal remotes. All right, guys. I'm Rath. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next time on the next one. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell. Get that ding. I'll see you later. Skull.